Hi friends, I'm Cheryl. I'm making this video this morning because I'm getting these messages channeled to me and it's really very significant. And I believe that it is something that can affect the future of um, the Twin Flame community. It affects the future of union. So I'm going to ask you first, have you noticed recently how you feel like you're working harder, you're working longer hours, you feel like you can't catch up, maybe you feel tired, I know that we've done some videos. I've done some videos. The struggle has been greater. You may be feeling like at your job, at work, there's no catching up and perhaps it even feels more than normal. You are ready to make shifts and changes in your karmic situation and you can't find the way to do that. It's almost like every avenue is closed off to you. Does any of this sound familiar? Because what I'm getting in these downloads is this is the darkness. We are, you may have been hearing for months, I know I have been hearing for months that we're going into a very challenging winter, economically, there is, there are so many things going on around the world. I know about them in the United States to, a, to an extent, but I know it's beyond the United States. If we just talk about something as simple as supply chain, The supply chain being cut off means that things can't get to the people that need them. That's in the very simplest terms, that's reality, right? The darkness controls all of that. If you feel more and more like you have to rely on someone else, like a government, that's the darkness feeding that message to you. They need us to need them. When we need them, what is the effect on us individually? We feel this struggle. We feel more tired. We feel trapped. We feel like there's no answer. We feel hopelessness. If you're feeling any of those things, you're probably like me been saying, what is the way out? Why is this happening? 
And I've been talking to people so I know this struggle is real and know these things are happening. I know that it feels like, what, what are my options? I can't not work. It's out of my control. And I feel as though we have to stay in the light. We have to when we feel that pushing down on us, we have to fight back. Fight back through what we've healed. Fight back through the light within us. We can't accept the status quo. We can't accept this is why the hanged man has been coming out in readings. We have to dig. The divine is telling us there is other answers. And it's up to us to really try to figure out that different way. We have to break away from, it's, you know, what it's looking like, what they're showing me, what I'm feeling is like we have a shell around us that has been around us for generations and it's a shield almost. And as we have been healing, we are chipping away from it. It's, it's breaking down. And we have to break through. The thinking about things differently, the allowing spirit to really change us, change things is, is going to shatter, shatter that cage that we have been in. And when we break through, when we break out, then truly things will be able to happen. We probably have typically thought about this journey from that perspective of being so simple. This is one person, divine feminine, one person, divine masculine. And if we heal, we can come together. But it's bigger than that. We are more than that. Our healing heals the world. Our healing brings light that fights the darkness. We cannot accept the status quo. We cannot give up. We have to rise up.
I know that out there you may be thinking, why isn't the divine intervening? And what I am hearing is we have to do our part. It's like we're warriors. And we have to show that we are going to fight for this, not against it. This is the long war. And many of you have been at it for a while. And it's not just about twin flames. It's bigger than that. But I felt for a long time like the message I get is that twins are instrumental in this healing because we exponentially affect others. Twins coming together, twins healing and coming together changes the way that divine love looks to the world, which is healing, which raises the vibration of our universe, our planet, those around us. Some will never get it. And they will not make it through. But right now, I feel like the future of union is at stake because we can't just accept the status quo. Look deep inside. Look. Ask. Ask for alternative solutions that you might have never considered. Look deep inside of you. This is an individual thing. We each have to be part of this battle and we each have to do our part. So look inside. What can you do to not fall prey to needing what the darkness is trying to feed you? I'm going to tell you that for myself, this has meant a huge purging. And I say that because I know beyond a shadow of a doubt now, if I didn't already know it before, I have to have financial freedom so I don't require the darkness. And I can't, I know it sounds crazy to say I can't spend beyond my means, but we do that all the time using credit cards because something comes up and it's like, well, I really want to do this. I really need this. This is on sale. I've I finally got it. And I'm like, no, I can't. I can't. I've spent money to help people to do things because, you know, they needed to be done, but they weren't critical. But I knew that others wanted them to be done too. I was giving in. And this week, it really clicked. And I was like, no. I cannot be dependent. And I started selling things. Selling things in my house. Because I need space. The space for my mind to be able to be peaceful. 
things I don't need. It's simplifying my life. Now, what's working for me may not work for you, but I'm asked by spirit to share it so that you can maybe get an idea. Oh, I am sending you, warriors, so much love and light. We can do this. We can do this. I love you. Let me know in the comments if this resonates. Please, please, we need to see those comments. We need to see that we are all together. Bye for now.